video and wanting to watch it as always I really appreciate it obviously my voice is not normal because I am sick so I want to apologize for that there's a stupid truck outside I'm sorry for that as well I can't do anything about that uh, today we are going to okay interrupt me mr. truck man let's wait for him to pass still there Oh. Oh. Who cares that Marissa's trying to film? Please, go ahead. Okay, I think he's done. Good. We can do our introduction now. As I was saying, a couple of days ago, I asked on my Instagram if you guys can please give me ideas because I'm going through some type of mind roadblock and I was like what do I film next? Thank you to those ladies who were kind enough to request a get out the door as soon as you can makeup look. So this look is meant for the ladies or anyone really whoever wants to wear makeup but for anyone who is just scrambling out the door all the time. For those of you who say, okay, I'll be there in five minutes, but really you just started your makeup and you don't keep people waiting like I have done sometimes because I'm very, very good at being punctual to places. Anyway, I am wearing lashes and I am wearing a little bit of highlighter. These are things that you can either add, by all means, please, add as many eyelashes as you want. If you really are trying to get out the door in less than three minutes, then obviously you're not gonna do all the lipstick that I have and all the eyelashes that I have. But if you do have 10 minutes or less, then this look is completely doable. I really hope you ladies enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching again, and here we go. Something else that I wanted to mention is just because you girls do not have the things that I'm using does not mean that you cannot recreate the looks that I'm doing tutorials for you guys. Um, with makeup, you have to be very creative. You don't necessarily have to have high-end products. First, I'm gonna start by using the Hydrating Primer from Makeup Forever in the mini version. Since my T-zone right here and here does get oily, I'm gonna use the Professional by Benefit just in this area. Before you start any makeup look, make sure to always hydrate your lips. Right now I'm wearing just a regular chapstick. You kinda see with the lighting that it is very um, shiny and hydrating. Today I'm using the Chapstick Total Hydration in called Luscious Lemon Delight. Um, this helps your lips stay hydrated, especially if you're gonna be using a liquid lipstick, which can get very drying with your lips. Next, we're gonna go with a foundation. I am using a tiny little sample that I got from Sephora from the new Too Faced Foundation in, it's called the Born This Way. I am using the color Sand. The reason why I'm using a tiny little version of it is because every single Sephora that I've been to has been sold out. So the lady was nice enough to give me a little sample and I've been surviving with this. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Naked Concealer in the color Medium Dark Neutral. I'm gonna use a middle color called Banana from the Anastasia Contour Kit to set the concealer that I just put on my face. 
today I'm using the Mica Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow base. Looks like that. And I'm using a fairly large foundation brush. But the only reason why I'm doing that is because, again, we're in a hurry and we don't have time to dip a tiny little brush in there, trying to get it all over our lid. So this way, dip it in there, boom, you're done. So for our bronzer for our face and as the main eyeshadow color, today I'm using a bronzer from the model company. It's just, there has no color, it's just bronze. As you can see, it says bronze on there. Um, because we are trying to save time, sometimes it is smarter and easier to use one product for multiple places in your face. Using my E40 Sigma brush, which is the fluffiest brush that I own, I'm just gonna lightly dip it on there, and I'm going to put the color all over my lid in no specific way, shape, or form. Um, you kind of just plop it on there, and this is gonna make you look awake. This is gonna make you look like you actually spent some time doing your shadow, even though, as you can see, I'm kind of just putting it on there. Um, there's really no trick to this. Just like that, we are done with our main eyeshadow color. Now for our second color that we're gonna use, or second and final color, because for this look we're only using two eyeshadows, I'm going to grab my Naked Urban Decay Basics palette and I'm going to use the color Venus, which is right here at the edge. It is a very sparkly, pretty color. I'm gonna grab any eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place this eyeshadow only on the inner corner of my eye. This is gonna make me look awake and it goes beautifully with the color of bronzer that we put on our eyelid. And to make it really look like we tried, we are gonna put the same color Venus right underneath our arch of our eyebrow. Now if you're a really simple kind of girl, which a lot of girls are, you can leave the look just as it is now. I personally don't think this is enough, so even if I was in a hurry, I would just do everything that I just did in like super Speedy Gonzalez speed and I would make time to put on either some eyelashes, some mascara, or I would actually bronze my face a little bit, work on my eyebrows for a minute or two, and then I would be out the door. If you want to leave it as is, that's fine, but I'm gonna show you some little extra steps that you can do to the look that really are not gonna take you that much longer, and they're gonna make you look that much prettier. Next, using any fluffy brush, the fluffier the better, because we're not trying to contour or anything, we're just gonna use the same bronzer, dip it in there, and we're just gonna put it all over our face to give us a little bit of color and a little bit of structure. Just gonna put it in our cheeks, just a little bit on our forehead. I really don't need to do this much because I don't have a forehead. Somebody that I used to know used to tell me that I didn't have a forehead, I have a tree head because <laughs> three fingers are what I have as a forehead, unfortunately. We're gonna go in with some mascara using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is the best mascara in the whole wide world. Just a couple of coats of that. So this is the finished look without eyelashes. Again, you can leave it without eyelashes if that's your preference, but I personally feel definitely very, very naked without lashes on, so I always have to go out with my falsies on because that's just part of my routine. That's what the look will look like if you decide to go with falsies. Last but not least will be our beautiful lippies. If you would like to leave the look like this, 
I think it looks fine. You're going to look just extra natural. But I'm not a looking natural type of gal. I always like to look as glam as I can even though I am in a hurry. So I'm going to decide to use a little bit of lip liner and lipstick. I'm going to use the Milani lip liner in the color Nude. I'm going to use MAC Honey Love right in the center of my lips. I'm going to use the tip of my finger to kind of blend that out. And just like that, we are done. I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.